Okay, we are here on the Gettysburg Square, and we're looking at the historic Wills House, the David Wills House, uh, which sits next to the Masonic Building here on the square. Uh, and it was this house on November 18, 1863, the night before his immortal address that Abraham Lincoln spent the night. And it was here above this door on the second floor window that was his bedroom and probably where he drafted the uh, or made the last revisions to his Gettysburg address. Um, he, it was in this building here that he also met uh, Governor Andrew Curtin and other public figures uh, and, and worked on his Gettysburg address. Now today this building is a part of the National Park Service. There, there's a small fee but you can go inside of this building and it is a museum uh, has artifacts from the house from the Battle of Gettysburg and it was just a few years ago that this building which was painted all gray uh, was completely redone and repainted uh, red again to look like the brick house it was in 1863 as it was off the square um, it, it sits here on the southeastern corner of the Gettysburg Square and as we go around you'll see the uh, Gettysburg Hotel at 1 Lincoln Square uh, and the Fonsock House across the street which is also a Civil War building and then outside there there is a sculpture of Abraham Lincoln a lot of people like to come here and get their picture taken next to the sculpture and this sculpture was actually done from a mask um, of Abraham Lincoln that was done uh, in life and the, it was done by a man named Seward Johnson, and it was dedicated in 1991. And the thing that's uh, particular about this sculpture is the detail. Uh, it's probably one of the most detailed figures or sculptures of Abraham Lincoln uh, ever been done, even down to the footwear. Uh, the footwear was uh, actually patterned from a boot that Abraham Lincoln wore as was the clothes so when this man Seward Johnson uh, did this sculpture he actually used patterns of Abraham Lincoln's clothes and his shoes and it depicts him here uh, with a, a modern figure as a tourist actually wearing sneakers and it's entitled return visit um, and it's kind of like Abraham Lincoln coming back to Gettysburg today and visiting and meeting tourists coming into the town okay, today. Okay, we're inside the David Wills house, part one. And the room that we're in now was David Wills' office. Um, in the 19th century, government had no agencies or institutions to deal with the national disaster. David Wills' office combined functions of a federal emergency management center for disease control and the American Red Cross all into one. Um, in this office here, Theodore Diamond uh, a former army surgeon representing New York State advanced the idea of burying all the Union dead from Gettysburg. David Wills arranged for the cemetery's consecration and Lincoln's visit in this office. Supplies for the wounded were stored and Wills fought for compensation for the farmers who suffered losses during the battle. Now this room today is used as an interactive display. You can see what videos and then this, the, one of the neatest things is this model of the four blocks coming off the square here at Gettysburg. And as we look, you can definitely point out things like the current day pub, the David Wills house here. Um, I did videos on the Huber house, which is right here on the, on the end. And the Eagle Hotel that once stood across the street where the 7-Eleven is. The Fonstock House here off of the Diamond, which is today the square of Gettysburg. As we're looking this way, this is Route 30 coming from the York area into the town square. Um, Stratton Street would be here today. And then back here is the Lincoln train station here. And you can see how the tracks, as I showed in my video, uh, came to the back of the Lincoln train station. So this is a scaled model of the town of Gettysburg in 1863 as it would have looked. And when you come to the uh, Wills house, it's, it's inexpensive, it's like a $6 ticket, but this is the first room that you come into, which was David Wills' parlor. Um, it's definitely worth the uh, price of admission. 
This is part one of the David Wills House, inside the David Wills House, Gettysburg Battlefield. Okay, Facebook. we're in, this is a David Wills, inside the David Wills House, part two. This is another parlor room in the front of the building, um, and it's, de it's dedicated to the creation of the National Cemetery. Um, it talks about the proposals of the removal of the dead on the battlefield. Um, it has a map of Adams County, uh, uh, Pennsylvania, just before the uh, Battle of Gettysburg and the Civil War. Um, there's a picture of James Willis on the wall, who was the father of, the, of David Willis, whose building that we're in right now. And again, this home has been beautifully restored, even down to the uh, Victorian wallpaper and the bookcases with the antique books in them. Um, this has been part two of Inside the David Wills House here on Gettysburg Battlefield. Okay, Facebook. we're here at Inside the David Wills House, part three. And um, the saddle that we're looking at here was actually the saddle that was used by Abraham Lincoln on November 19th, 1863, during the procession down to the National Cemetery where he gave the Gettysburg Address. And that's what basically this room is dedicated to. Um, there's actually a photograph of him right dead center as he's delivering the Gettysburg Address. Um, behind us is a dedication to Edward Everett, the great orator of the time who spoke for two hours before Lincoln. And one thing I've noticed on here, I don't know if it's been brought up, but as you read this, Edward Everett was the most famous orator of his time as Harvard University presided over Congressman and Senator and Minister of Britain, Governor of Massachusetts, Secretary of State and Vice Presidential Candidate in 1860. He had lived a life of prestige and public service. His speeches were eloquent and great demand. Everett's Gettysburg Address lasted for two hours. He did what 19th century America expected of him. He spoke at great length, made all allusions to classical history, and recounted the three-day battle in great detail. Reporters and others in attendance praised Everett's speech as a work of genius, but it has been forgotten by history, overshadowed by Lincoln's two minutes on the stage. At one time, Everett held Lincoln in low regard, but the president impressed him on that day, and Everett wrote afterward, I wish that I could flatter myself that I had come near to the central idea of the occasion in two hours as you did in two minutes. And even though Edward was a stroke of genius. One thing that isn't a stroke of genius that I noticed about this sign was um, they misspelled Gettysburg as Getzburg. So we have a sign here in the <laughs> David Wills house uh, relating to Edward Everett's address at Gettysburg and probably the, the word that should have been spelled right was spelled wrong. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, and of course the glass window up here is a uh, painting of Abraham Lincoln given the Gettysburg Address. This has been part three of Inside the David Wills House here on Gettysburg. Okay, this is part four Facebook. of Inside the David Wills House, and this talks about the guest arriving, the trauma, and the cost of war. Um, this room uh, has a, a nice portrait of Abraham Lincoln, um, and then there's actually a skeleton key that was used in the room where Abraham Lincoln uh, stayed. As we look outside here on the square, you can see the uh, Gettysburg Hotel right here on the square. Um, and then if you want a, a bird's eye view of the square, you can come to this room here, or this angle here, and see the, uh, the square as it exists outside, including the return visit statue, which is just out there in the bottom left-hand corner of our frame. Again, this has been uh, part four of the Inside the David Wills House here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Okay, this is part five of Inside the David Wills House and this is gonna be our most important and significant video. This is the bed and the bedroom in which Abraham Lincoln stayed in on the David Wills House on November 18th into the 19th of 1863 where he, this is the very room he stayed in and revised his copy of the Gettysburg Address. Um, the furniture is typical of the Rocco Revival style popular in the 1850s. Uh, the bed, for example, is carved with florals and sea scrolls, characteristic of the style. The headboard is separated into section with three arched panels that are slightly recessed. 
um, the scalloping on the mirror over here and the wood surround of the bureau as well as the CNS scrolls on the washstand are also res representative of the style. Now the Marcelli spread on the bed is the original known to have been the, in the bedroom at the time of Lincoln's visit. The hung in headboard of the bed actually would have been removed during the summer months and the bed itself adjusted in the order to improve air circulation. Everything, even down to the carpet, has been restored back to its 1863 appearance. Um, now, Abraham Lincoln slept in this bed on the no on night of November 18, 1863. Much of the other furniture that's in this room uh, would have been used by him as well. The bed was a part of uh, furniture that was owned by David Willis. It was likely made by a furniture maker in Baltimore or Philadelphia and shipped to rail by Gettysburg. Um, this was described by descendants as rosewood furniture. Uh, the pieces are actually made out of mahogany and other secondary woods uh, and date to around 1855. And it's amazing to think that just a year and a half later after staying and sleeping in this bed that the 16th President of the United States would be assassinated just about 75 miles here from this spot. Um, we're going to look out the windows here to kind of give you a view of what Abraham Lincoln may have seen uh, in 1865, minus, of course, the, the, the cars and the modernities. But this would have been a view of the diamond, or what we know as today as the square, as he would have looked out. And one thing that he did do was he peeked out the window here and tourists, like you see downstairs, actually came and greeted him at the window and he briefly spoke to them outside this window here. So again, this is uh, the heart and soul of the David Wills house and museum today. Um, and this is the actual bedroom in which Abraham Lincoln stayed in on November 18th, 1863 and slept in that bed overnight and revised his copy of the Gettysburg Address, which he would deliver uh, the, the next day at the dedication of the National Cemetery. This has been Inside the David Wills House, Part 5, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.